Hey Dave from the Centurions Review. I was just at an auction this week and I picked up some interesting micro games. This is the 20th main, the Battle for Little Round Top. It's from Operational Studies Group. I only have, uh, before I got, I bought this and the uh, Battle of the Hundred Days, and before this I only had one of their other games, so this was a good find. I, find. I only paid like 10 bucks for it, so that's not bad. Let's see here, it's talking about Gettysburg, so... Game for two players which recreates this unique event. Each player moves pieces, blah, blah, blah. All right, so it's just describing the game. Uh, includes 100 uh, playing pieces and a colorful map of Little Round Tap. That's pretty cool. So let's open this up. Plastic's in real good shape. I've seen some of these old games, the plastic is yellow and stuff. I mean, this is still perfectly see-through and stuff, so obviously this wasn't sitting in the sunlight. Oh, this is hard to get. Let's see if we can get it out of the plastic. That's the hard part. There's the counters. Let me see if I can get them out. Counters are... Let me zoom in here. Counters are lacking artwork. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they're functional and stuff. Uh, looks like they weren't meant to be to uh, be very artsy, but that's okay. It could still be a good game, even though the counters are a little bit boring. There's not that many of them either. Let's take a look here. See what we got. We got a rule book in here. This looks like just the cover. Rule book is how many pages? 10 pages plus chart, or so 12 including the charts, so looks like it's got pretty meaty rules, that's good, so a lot of people, I like micro games, but a lot of people complain that sometimes uh, the rules uh, aren't very involved or in-depth, uh, 12 pages, I mean these are probably pretty in-depth, I haven't tried the game, but zones of control, it even has facing and stuff, stacking, fire combat, so this looks like a full-blown war game, that's good. Let's take a look at the map. The map looks, so far, looks pretty good. So it's a small map. Uh, for a micro game, it seems all right. Uh, I've seen some maps uh, for micro games that were black and white. I mean, this is visually uh, appealing and stuff. This isn't bad for an old micro game. It's got a nice terrain table. And then a command point cost chart, so I guess I uh, use command points in this. Uh, some people like that in war games, some don't, depends on the person. But yeah, I look forward to trying this. This looks like it's got some meat to it, so it'll probably turn out to be hopefully a good game. Thanks for watching, and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.